let's jump into the first part of this session. So a bunch of you guys had questions about headlines. Um, some of them are roundabout questions. Some of them are in the context of creating an ad. Some of them are in the context of what should I be putting on my website. Some of them are in context of like what should I use as compelling uh, material for my for my uh, landing page. All of these questions pertain to headlines. And what I want to do with you guys is cover headlines in a way that um, that we we don't always get to cover in Clever Bunch, partly because we don't have enough time, and partly um, just because we um, well. Partly because I'm always doing deeper research on headlines. I'm going to try and simplify headlines for you guys. Uh, if you're on this call, stop what you're doing, pull out a piece of paper and a pen, and write this down because this is one of the things that can have a massive impact on your business, and it's it's only going to be about five minutes of your time. All right, Gabrielle, got your pen and paper. Good. So, first of all, um, as you can probably see on my slide. As far as marketing tests, so I'm going to say tested marketing. What I mean by that is uh, we are big fans of what we call direct response marketing. Uh, used to be direct response marketing was for mail. Like typically it was like sending letters in the mail um, and then getting responses back either through the phone or through, um, or through return mail. Uh, direct response marketing also could be things like those late night um, ads that you see, people phoning into that. So having basically having the ability to measure how effective your ad is. So I'm not talking about ads that you see on a billboard or ads that you see in a newspaper. You can't measure those ads. You have no idea how many returns you're getting on those ads. So specifically for ads that you can measure, um, direct response marketing, they split test headlines. And uh, I've been reading books out of like the 80s and 90s when they were doing direct response marketing. And in those tests, they tested all different kinds of things. They would test often the same copy, so basically the same um, ad, the same writing, but they would just change the headline. And time and time again, what they came up with was that the headline, just the headline alone, so forget the rest of the ad, just the headline alone is responsible for up to 75% of ad conversions. That's a huge number. 75% of what goes into your ad is, is um, or 75% of the effectiveness of your ad is just in the headline. So what I want to do with you guys today is make sure that you guys are creating headlines that are compelling to read. Um, so what are the four qualities of a kickback headline? Uh, something that people are actually going to read and ultimately, guys, is going to put money in the bank for you. We want that to happen. This, I hope this is not too close. By the way, if you see a creepy person in the background, that's my girlfriend. She's trying to run out of the scene. Um, so what are these four things? First. This is the most effective way um, that you're going to capture someone's attention. And this is a, an in, or a, a headline that involves self-interest. So ultimately, what is the benefit to the reader? It has to be totally um, capitalizing on them. The next point that you can use as a headline that's effective is a new style headline. So that's the kind of, those are the kind of headlines you see in the paper. It doesn't necessarily mean that there's going to be self-interest. It can be. Um, but it's it's a headline that portrays itself as a news article. So something either new and upcoming or an event that's going on or um, something related to um, basically world events um, or just presents itself as a news headline. The third is curiosity. So a headline that evokes curiosity. Um, that person reads it and they can't help but want to read more. And then the last one is a headline that promises the quick and easy way. So these are the four different qualities that can go into a headline. Now a headline can have all four of these qualities, um, but these, this is the way that you see them ranked here are the importance of those four qualities. So first and foremost, self-interest. Um, the ones that convert the second best are ones that are more new style headlines. The ones that convert the third best are curiosity. And then the fourth best are the quick and easy way. And basically anything outside of that is not worth, not worth using as a headline. So if your headline doesn't fit at least one of those four criteria, um, a self-interest ad headline. Absolutely. So here's one of my favorite um, ways of, of putting together a self-interest ad headline. Here's, here's a couple of tips for you guys. Uh, when you're writing a headline, 
a great thing to incorporate in the headline are numbers. And when I talk about numbers, I mean, like these can be quantities or periods of time. Um, you basically, you're putting something into context. Uh, actually, let me, and I'm going to back it up a little bit here. So when you're writing a headline, here's another note. You, if you're writing notes down, here's another note you can put on your page. If you talk about things in the past as a headline, if you talk about things in the past, the past psychologically for people, it happened in the past. So it's no longer relevant. It's, you know, you could say whatever you wanted to in the past, but it's no longer relevant necessarily to them. If you talk about something in the future, the future is projecting what could be. So it doesn't necessarily mean it's true. It could be a lot, but people cannot, um, they can't deny the present. So if you're utilizing headlines, a good way to use a headline is to be talking either about the present or often offer somebody an opportunity in the present. Um, so let's go back to give an example of a self-interest ad headline. Um, how about let's use let's use basic bananas as an example. Um, that, that's a that's a cop out maybe, but let's use basic bananas as an example. So let's talk about um, we, we've got a small business owner that's interested in in boosting their marketing. Now I'm going to come up with a headline. This is probably one we actually I know this is one we haven't used, but an example of a self-interest headline would be. Um, <clears throat> grow your business 20% in the next uh, 30 days or how about this actually you, yeah that would be one grow your business 20% in the next 30 days with this program so those are using some specific numbers um, or it could be um, it could be something, maybe you take the same headline, but do it a little bit different. I like the prove it to you model. So grow your business 20% dash, give me 30 days and I'll prove it to you. So it's, it's, it's saying like, let's work, let's work right now. Let's get this done. Um, and I can prove it to you. So that's an example of a self-interest headline. Uh, hopefully that, hopefully that, that answers some of your question. Um, a self-interest headline. Actually, here's here's really this is this is the um, this is the best way of looking at it. Is just this little line I've got at the bottom. I think this is a great test. So let's say you write down a headline, whatever your headline is, and it fits one of these four categories. If you take that headline and you go and you read it to someone, and you don't tell that person what you're selling, you just read them the headline. If they don't immediately want to read the rest of your ad, if they're like well, what do you mean? What are you talking about? Or like, mm, I don't know, like, that's not something like, I don't, I, I, I don't get it. I'm, I couldn't care less, or I don't think that applies to me. If you're reading that ad to someone that's in your target audience, or sorry, if you're reading that just the headline to someone that's in your target audience, and they are not interested in hearing any more about your product, then you better go back to the drawing board and, and write down another headline. So that's a good test as to whether your headline is going to be hitting that self-interest category. Essentially, at the end of the day, most people, well, all people are interested in themselves. They're interested in bettering themselves and what, what's best for them and the people closest to them, but ultimately to them. Um, so your, your headline has to hit on that, on that specific uh, point, is that, that uh, self-interest bit. Okay, Does anybody, if anybody has any questions about headlines, if I didn't answer any questions about headlines that you've got in your head floating around up there, um, then you can put the headline or you can put that question down into the into the text.